Hey you, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the Daily Challenge for April 6th, 2022. The character of the silent and the modifiers are draft, draft the custom starting deck of cards. Certain future, the map contains only one path. And deadly events, question mark rooms cannot contain elites, but are also more likely to contain treasure rooms. So with certain future, all the points... Oh, actually, I just realized I'm playing really early. Yeah, it just turned... Uh... Um, yeah, yeah, so I usually don't play this early. I was going to say, I don't see any high scores. But yeah, that's probably because I'm very early. Uh, I don't think I'll play this early every day, but um, I figure I'll try it just, just today. Um, so yeah, with, with certain future, all the scores should be 25 points apart. But I'm assuming, well, over 800 might be a winning score, just not perfecting anything. Uh, below that, I assume people might have died. Actually, you can sort of see here that, uh, you know, uh, it's it goes from 300 to 500 to 700. So I assume everybody below 700 died. But anyway, yeah, so I, I guess I have to uh, usually I can I can review scores uh, of people that had a chance to play. But I guess I'll have to do that tomorrow. Uh, speaking of, let's review the scores from yesterday. So I have to admit a large variety of uh, strategies that people deployed. Um, so Hobo, again, congratulations, ended up with 17th place. Um, got a lot of, uh, well, somewhat lucky and somewhat uh, planned successes there. Uh, the thing that I wanted to point out, uh, so Hobo wasn't able to perfect the Act 1 boss. So theoretically, another 100 points, so 1453 would have been possible if he was able to perfect one more boss. Uh, but here's the, the weird thing. A lot of other people were able to perfect the Act 1 boss, but none, none of the others. So I found that very interesting that um, Hobo was able to perfect Act 2 and Act 3 bosses. And then, for example, um, Chef in the Cloud only was able to perfect the Act 3 boss. Um, and then uh, Steven, for example, died just like I did. I only uh, ended up on the leaderboards because I, I replayed, um, knowing exactly what's going to happen. Pelth ended up with 1205. Uh, and then somebody like Atatoho, for example, got 1284. He's not on the leaderboards, but he was able to only perfect the Act 1 boss. So basically the opposite to, to what Hobo did. Um, Flignicum with 1136. Flignicum um, had a very interesting strategy of bottling the choke and the blade dance, uh, which, uh, yeah, in retrospect, seems like a really good idea. So that way, plus the backstabs, you can deal a lot of damage that way on turn one. End up being 61st at the end of the day. Let's review where I landed up. Oh, I, I end up being 96. And again, this is a cheating score because I had to reload. Um, twice, right, because I was basically dying twice and I had sort of, sort of tried to figure out a way to survive, but still, I'm impressed that I made it to the top 20 that way. Anyway, let's move on to today's run. All right, so um, let's see what deck we can draft. Um, so deadly events might make it difficult to go for curses, so I'm not sure if I should go for a discard deck. Let me start off with Dagger Spray. That seems like a solid uh, card. Choke would be inter interesting if I get a lot of zero-cost cards. Let's take it. Might be a good attack card. Blade Dance, that would fit well with the Choke. I'm not yet convinced if I should go for Highlander or Popper, or, or uh, I mean Collector Bonuses, but depending if I get a lot of duplicates, I might consider Collector Bonuses. Piercing Well is a great defensive card. Dagger Throw maybe for the discard? Okay. Uh, let's take Cloak and Dagger before I take a duplicate. I might want to do Acrobatics just for the card draw. I was really hoping to get a lot of uh, low-cost cards, but I guess that's not really happening. All right, you know what? I think I'm going to try to go for collective bonuses. So let's take a second piercing well. A second dagger throw, maybe? Or prepared? No, let's go with a second dagger throw. A second dagger spray with slice. You know what? I'm going to take a slice here just to have a zero cost card. Same with massive stab. Rippling cloud might be nice. Who's my final boss, by the way? Guardian. Okay. not Maybe not the best. Well, it's better than the other two cards. Let's go with the crippling cloud. Woodwork is interesting, although I don't have a lot of... Wait, actually... I only have the Cloak and Nagger that actually would benefit from the decks, right? The rest is... The, the remaining defensive uh, capabilities come from Piercing Well. Uh, so let me go for the Escape Plan instead. And then I guess either a second... I should sort of use Z, by the way. Either a second Dagger Spray or a second Slice. Let's go with the second Slice. And then last card, Heal Hook would only benefit from the Crippling Cloud, right? So that might not be worth it. Let's take the Sucker Punch here. Okay, unfortunately, I realize this deck is way too offensive. Barely has any def defenses, right? So I have Cloak and Dagger, Escape Plan, and the Piercing Whales for defense. Crippling Cloud, to some extent, also helps. And then the rest is offense. All right, I guess I just have to make sure that I pick up some nice offensive cards. So certain future runs always have three question mark rooms and one elite. And I think, yeah, three rest sites. Um, unfortunately, here, the shop and the elites are fairly early on. That makes it a little harder to perfect, but um, let's see what happens. Okay, so I could do Crippling Cloud um, and then, I don't know, Cloak and Dagger to, to defend. Let's do Crippling Cloud Escape Plan. Uh, kill this guy with the, wait, five, six, um, actually eight incoming. Yeah, let's kill this guy with the mass. Actually, let me do, no, if I do Blade Dance, I won't be able to defend. 
Uh, let's do this, okay? And then Masterful Stab and Slice, all right? I think this deck should be fine. I just need to make sure I have enough defensive cards for the um, for the boss. Skewer, Heal, Hook, Slice. Let's go for another Slice, okay? And then here, I won't be able to afford any of the Relics, and that's probably okay. Ornament of Fan might have been nice, but in terms of cards, I could go for another clo uh, Cloak and Nagger, and then maybe I should take a Footwork after all. Once I get enough defensive cards... Um, might not be a bad idea. Let's do Cloak and Nagger and Footwork. Okay. I, I am wondering if I'm going to have trouble if the Elite is the Gremlin up because I do have... Actually, no, I don't have that many skills. Never mind. All right. Uh, let me see if I can kill here. Let's do Choke, Escape, Plan, Slice. And then the Blade Dance would basically deal 7 times 3. Yeah, that's enough. Uh, actually, well, 7 times 3. I calculated the, the Choke in there as well. I guess I'm sort of doing what Flicknickum did yesterday. Well, I guess not. Choke is not in my opening hand, but it is useful to have it in the opening hand. Dagger Spray, um, I could take a second Dagger Spray. I'm trying to think if Noxious Stream or Reflex would work here. Unfortunately, Reflex might work. I have two Dagger Throws and an Acrobatics. I'm just worried I won't have enough energy to handle the fact that I'll draw extra cards. So let's go within a second Dagger Spray first. Remove Transform or Upgrade. I wonder if I should transform something. No, no, I'm pretty happy with everything. Should I upgrade a Choke? Yeah, yeah, let's upgrade the Choke. Okay. Okay, and then my hope is to draw it against the next elite. Oh, I got letter opener on the first try. Every time I play three skills on a single turn, deal five damage to all enemies. That's nice. And then Grumman Knob. Yeah, I was hoping for something better. Let me see what the escape plan gives me. Okay, well, trying to think if there's any reason to weaken. Uh, I, I mean, I guess it's not going to hurt. I, I could also just deal a bunch of damage, right? Maybe, hmm. Let me do Massive Stab first. Definitely Dagger Spray. Well, it's either Sucker Punch and the Shiv or the Crippling Cloud. Let's do Crippling Cloud. Maybe that should have been the card I should have upgraded. Okay, 10 incoming. Can I defend here with Cloak and Nagger and Piercing Whale? Not really. Can I kill here? I might have had a chance of killing if I drew the Choke. I'm trying to think what I can do. Let me see. let me do Dagger Throw. Actually, if I do Footwork, Cloak and Nagger... Oh, no, then I don't have enough energy to do that. Yeah, I... Hmm. I wonder if there's a way to perfect this one, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to do it. Yeah, I think maybe... Okay, so I put all my eggs in the choke basket by upgrading that, and I just didn't draw it on time. If I had drawn it, I think I, I had a reasonable chance of perfecting. We got pair up and pick up racer make sure we by 10, as well as a fire potion and another dagger throw. Uh, now that I picked the dagger throw, I wonder if I should have taken the blur instead to have some defensive capabilities. Uh, let me upgrade... The, for the upcoming boss, I think a piercing well upgrade would be good. Hmm. Alright, got the cultist here. Escape plan, dagger throw, masterful stab, play the slice, sucker punch, and shit. Okay. Hmm, another si um, six incoming. Yeah, I can just kill here. Alright. The shots out of Leg Sweep. Okay, yeah. I was thinking about defensive cards, and Leg Sweep was a great one. We got Turnip. You can no longer become frail. That's nice. And then the Lice. Um, I think I can do something like Crippling Cloud and then Dagger Spray. That should kill a lot of them. Uh, never mind. It didn't kill a single one of them. Well, actually, okay. I can kill the Backland this way. Yeah, sorry. I For some reason, I thought I... Actually, I guess I thought that I upgraded the Crippling Cloud. Maybe I should really do that. Um, let's just do Dagger Spray here. All right, slice, liney, dagger spray. So either I'll take a third dagger spray or a fourth slice. Let's go with the fourth slice first. Mm -hmm. Spike, slime, and cultist. No one is attacking me. Okay, finally, I got a choke here. Uh, let's do choke, dagger spray, and masterful stab. Okay. I guess the choke is not amazing yet. I need more shiv cards for it to become really good. Uh, let's do blade dance. I can just play everything, right? I have a bunch of zero cost cards. So let's do shiv and then kill this guy. Hmm. Got a cunning potion, very useful. Uh, Outmaneuver slice of footwork. Look at that. I already have enough slices. All right. So between footwork, I actually don't think I need outmaneuver. Let's take the footwork. Hmm. Acid slime. Can I transform here? Um, I need 33 damage, which seems doable. Let's do dagger throw. And then masterful stab. Yeah, yeah, I can definitely transform. Slice, dagger spray, and get another shiv in. Mm hmm. Seven incoming. Let's do dagger spray. Actually, I'm going to take some damage here, it looks like. Well, not if I do... Well, if I do piercing well, it still takes some damage, but not too much. And then slice. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. And then 10 incoming. Let's do choke, slice, and kill. Okay. All right, deadly poison flying, sleep backstab. See, I mean, none of this is defensive. I guess backstab might not be a bad idea. Let's take it. Okay, I really I have two more rest sites. I should really upgrade defensive cards. Let me upgrade the leg sweep first, and maybe I'll start upgrading the footworks. Okay, looter. Um, I don't think footwork is appropriate here. I think I can just do leg sweep, slice, backstab, and sucker punch. Okay. Another seven. I can do dagger throw. Uh, I think cloak and dagger should be good enough. Oh, he's dead already. Okay. And an energy potion. And yeah, I need to take the dodge and roll. Actually, with the uh, footworks I have, it's not that bad of an idea anyway. And I am, yeah, I probably should upgrade the footworks here. A little worried because I need to get some enough luck to be able to perfect this one. Uh, let's see, I do have a fire potion, so I'm not super worried about this first turn. Let's do uh, footwork first, then dagger throw. Uh, okay, don't need this then. Um, let's do slice, backstab. And I guess I could transform, but maybe I'll wait. Yeah, let's wait because I do want to have a chance to play the other footwork. And it, there's no real rush. Okay, so dodge and roll is actually really nice here. Let's do dodge and roll, dagger throw. Uh, that was a little dangerous because uh, I didn't have any energy. So the dagger throw might have given me something bad. And I'll play the shifts just so I don't reshuffle back to them. Okay, so I'm almost fully defended. Luckily, I got a leg sweep here. That's really good. Um, do I need to do acrobatics? No, I might. Well, hang on. Ooh, I don't have enough block next turn. Yeah, so I think I have to do acrobatics. Uh, there's footwork um, and cloak and dagger. Yeah, I think I'll do that and then hope that I can draw the right thing. Mm, on the other hand, if I... You know what? I might also want to do Lex with just for the weakness with the energy potion. Let's do that. So, actually, mm, yeah, let's be safe. Let's be safe. Let's do footwork, then Lex sweep. And then I guess I can play um, the slices and then one more shiv. Okay. All right, 12 incoming. I... Nothing I can do, right? Let's see if the escape plan gives me block. It didn't. Yeah, I just got unlucky. This is exactly what happened yesterday, too, right? I, I did everything right. Like, uh, the enemy is weakened. I have a bunch of decks. I just needed to draw. I guess that's the problem. I don't have a lot of defensive cards, right? I had two Cloak and Daggers. Piercing Will would have helped, too. So, two Cloak and Daggers, two Piercing Wells. Dodge and Roll would not have been enough. That's only nine block. And then um, the Leg Sweep. So, I had to draw five out of the... Um, I guess I reshuffled about, um, I just reshuffled three extra cards, right? So it was 920 or so. So there's a significant chance, but I just got unlucky. All right, in that case, uh, since I'm not perfecting anymore. Yeah, all right, great. Well, let's play Lex Sweep now, but unfortunately it's too late. Mm -hmm. All right, 12 incoming. Since I'm not perfecting, let's just deal a bunch of damage and not worry too much about HP. Okay. And yeah, the the block or the the damage that you take by attacking the guardian that does count against the perfect, which is, I mean, it makes sense. It's just you know unfortunate. Six incoming. Let me do choke, cloak and dagger, slice and shiv. Mm -hmm. And then another twelve. Uh, let's do, I guess, cloak and dagger. Yeah, the cloak and dagger alone gives me a lot of block. And then I can do sucker punch. Look at that masterful stab. Seven energy. All right. Um, how do I get poison? Oh, right, crippling cloud. Um, okay, let's do leg sweep, dagger spray. Mm -hmm. I guess without the choke, it, it is taking me quite a long time to uh, kill enemies. Yeah, that might be something I have to change on Act Two. Mm -hmm. All right. Twenty-four more damage. Uh, I can do choke and then dagger spray. Good. All right, I uh, wasn't able to perfect anything yet, but let's see. So, Popper is reasonable, although on the other hand, uh, I should consider taking a rare card just so I can actually perfect things, because without them, I am having trouble. An, op an option is to take the Adrenaline and then remove it on Act 3. Because if I see a Wraith form, I will take it and ignore Popper. Let's take the Adrenaline. If I don't see any other good rare card, I'll just remove it on Act 3, as I said. 
Lost us to a black star of Velvet Choker. Um, so I think I can give up on the idea of getting 25 relics in a certain future run because there's only one elite on each act. Uh, that's going to be very difficult. And I guess this black star just translate, as I just said. Oh, wait, I guess I completely ignored deadly events. So there might be more than two elites coming up still. But yeah, I don't think it's worth it. Um, the other hand, Philosopher's Stone is not that useful either because I'm, I'm fine without extra energy. Velvet Choker is going to be rough with all the shivs I have. Let's go with the Black Star. Sure. At least I'm just really going to feed it. Mostly because I don't want the other two, and this one has a net benefit. Okay. Champ at the end. Again, early shop and early elite. That is, once again, a little disappointing, but fine. I was hoping to get my deck to a slightly better spot, but it should be okay. Um, I can not defend it anyway. All right. Let's see what the dagger throw gives me. Uh, okay. Footwork is fine. And then... Don't really need another footwork. Okay, I guess I'll just take the damage. Um, blade dance, shiv, shiv, shiv. Masso stab and dagger spray. See, if I had a choke on my opening hand, that would have definitely killed. Um, double slice, piercing well. Okay. And then here I can do dagger throw, and that's enough to kill. Got another fire potion, which I don't think I'll take. And a second leg sweep might be better than a third dagger spray. Okay. Uh, curse number one. I mean, I'm not going to try to go... Okay, I didn't get a curse. We got Serum Fish. Whenever I add a card to deck, gain nine gold. That should add up to a tiny bit amount of gold. Still better than nothing, of course. All right, let's do Backstab, Sucker Punch, Dagger Spray, Slice. And I'll do the Piercing Well just to get rid of the artifact. Another 10. Adrenaline gives me Choke. Uh, unfortunately, that's not going to be useful here, right? Um, yeah, that's sad. Uh, I mean, it's still damage. Let's do footwork, cloak and dagger. Yeah, I'll still play the choke just because it is damage. Okay. Mm, can I deal 19 damage here? I have 18. Uh, never mind, I have enough. Good. Okay. Alright, got an explosive potion, which I don't think I'll take. Upgraded blade dance. Yes, let's do that. And then here, paper crane is tempting. So is Horn Cleed. Not a huge fan of any of the cards. Maybe the finisher. If as because I picked up an upgraded blade dance just now. But I don't think it's super useful. Let's go with the paper screen. Enemies with weak deal 40% less damage rather than 25. That is a huge thing. Actually, I think back in the day in um I think before version one, uh, enemies would with weak would deal 50% less damage rather than 25. And that was so powerful they nerfed it down to 40%. So I think it is definitely it's one of the more powerful relics. It is oh uncommon, it's not even rare. Um, I don't think I need that maneuver. Let's just move on. Hmm. All right, got the cultists here. Um, I think Crippling Cloud and Blade Dance is a decent start. Yeah, I am wondering. I said I don't need extra energy, but I am wondering if the extra energy might have helped. Especially on turn one. Okay, I have nine incoming. Let's see what this gives me. All right, Dagger Spray, Dagger Throw. Um, I guess I can do Lex Sweep, right? Or Piercing One might be easier. And then slice, piercing well, dodge and roll. Okay. Hmm. All right, so 18 incoming. Um, should I do... Actually, choke would kill this guy, right? Yeah, let's do choke, cloak, and dagger. That should be enough to kill. Hmm. And 12. Uh, I don't think I can kill here, huh? Oh, no, I can. Good. Got a speed potion, which I don't think I'll take. Hang on. Before I confidently don't take that speed potion. No, no. Let's try to be offensive still. Um, and then here. Did I have enough? No, I have three dagger throws, two dagger sprays. Let's go for a collective bonus on the dagger throws. Book of stabbing. Okay. So I have 10 block. That's not going to be enough. Let's see what the uh, adrenaline gives me. Escape plan. Okay. Nope. So how do I fully defend here? Uh, I guess I could use the block potion. It seems a little wasteful, but I think... Well, hang on. I, I should see what the dagger throw gives me. Footwork. Okay, I can fully defend with the footwork. Uh, yes, yes. So let's do footwork, dodge and roll, cloak and dagger. Okay. All right, so far so good. I probably should keep this for the uh, once I have the choke. 18. So this will weaken him down to 9. Actually, leg sweep might be better. Yeah, let's do Lex Sweep, because that way he'll be weakened next turn as well. Hmm. 12 incoming. I have Choke here. Any chance I can kill, because I definitely can't defend. Well, I guess I could defend it with a block push. Let me see if I can kill. 
So if I do choke, that's 12. And every card after that deals another 5. So 18. Uh, I'm counting the extra 5 later. So this will be 18. This would be another 8. So 26. And then the shifts each would be another 18. So that's 44. And then 5 times. I played 5 cards. Oh, and the sl No, I did calculate the slice, right? So then... Uh, what did I say? Uh, 34? And then another 25 on top of that. No, it's not even close to 100. Uh, yeah, fine. Let's use the block potion. I still think I will play the cunning potion. Okay, so let's do slice and play the shivs. Um, and then sucker punch would means next turn he's weakened. But I, my hope is to try to... Actually, I have piercing well next turn, so I don't need the weakness. Let's just do dagger spray then. Okay. All right, so here I can fully defend with the piercing whale. Let's do dagger throw one and dagger throw two and then double slice. And I am really close to being able to finally perfect one elite. Yep, perfect. Okay, perfect this one. Had to use two potions. We are Gremlin Horn. Whenever an enemy dies, gain energy and draw one card. So a shuriken, every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. That's a huge help. Very happy with that. I already have enough slices. Let me take another dodge and roll. Again, because I have so many, well, two footworks, each dodge and roll is pretty useful. Should I upgrade the next footwork? There's still one more. Or should I upgrade the backstab because it's always in my opening hand? Let's go with the footwork. Hmm. Yeah. All right, got the... Oh, this is a question mark room elite. All right. Uh, so I do have leg sweep. That's that's going to be useful. I also have a fire potion. Uh, not much else. So if I do leg sweep, I have 19 incoming. Can I somehow kill the backliner? Because I've leg sweep the frontliner. I should be able to defend if I can kill the backliner. I think I have to try. So yeah, let's do leg sweep. Okay, so I am fully defended if I can kill the backliner. Uh, I think I have to do blade dance for the most amount of damage, right? Backstab, uh, masterful stab, and then, yeah, I think I have enough with the fire potion. Actually, do I need the fire potion? Um, I don't need the fire potion. You know what? Let me save it for later. And then I uh, got another leg sweep there. That's unfortunate. I can't really use it. And I got the choke, which I can't really use. That's fine. Okay. All right, so Crippling Cloud would weaken both, but I do need block. Um, and the dodge and roll will be enough. Let me see what this gives me. Okay, I can do two dodge and rolls. So let's do Crippling Cloud and then two dodge and rolls. Okay. All right, worst case, I can use the Fire Potion on this guy. And here I need a little bit extra block, but I think I can just kill this guy, right? Uh, yeah, let's see what this gives me. I think I'll play the... Well, actually, here, let's do the Slice, okay? Just to see what I draw. Dagger Throw 1, Blade Dance is pretty good. And Dagger Throw 2. All right, good. Okay, nice. seven incoming. Uh, I think I can just kill here. Yep. All right, perfect. This one too. We got calipers. Really nice. At the uh, start of your turn, lose 50 block rather than all of your block. And incense burner every six turns, gain one intangible. That's huge. So I'm actually, I think the black star is really working out because I got the shuriken and incense burner one turn. Well, I guess two two fights early. Noxious fumes, souls of the traitor, grand finale. Um, I can only consider the noxious fumes. You know what? Let's take it. It might, with the footwork, so one of the archetypes for um, the silent deck is to just go for, like, highly defensive deck with Foodworks and then use the Noxious Fumes for damage. That Art of War, if you do not play any attacks in your turn, get additional energy next turn. Okay. And then I wonder if I should get that Noxious I'm trying to debate how much I will use it. I'm not sure if it's worthy of... Eh, okay, fine. Let, let's upgrade it. Sure. I mean, it'll help on with enemies with Artifact. Okay. Got the snake plant here who is attacking me, unfortunately. Let's do footwork, dodge and roll, cloak and dagger just to try to defend a little bit. And then shift, slice, slice, backstab. Okay. Hmm. Not getting attacked here. And of course, I got footwork and the piercing whale. All right, let's do blade dance and um, yeah, let's do leg sweep. The weakness will help. I think it'll just be 12 incoming because of it, right? Rather than 15. Yep. Okay, dagger throw one. I might have to use the dodge and roll here. Uh, that probably was the wrong card to discard. Okay, fine. I'll do... Well, here. Let's just do dagger throw and shit a slice. Okay. And then uh, let's do another dagger throw. Adrenaline. It is taking me a surprisingly long amount of time to kill this guy. I'm, I have to admit. But okay. Yeah. Choke is my main damage engine, I guess. 
Got an energy potion. Infinite blades might be good. I don't think I need heal hook or prepared. Let's go with the infinite blades. Sentry hmm. and Sphere Guardian. Um, hmm. Look at that. I don't have a lot of attacks this turn. Uh, let's start with... Yeah, backstab. I guess I can do piercing well. Why not? Yeah, let's do piercing well, footwork, and sucker punch. I could have considered the acrobatics, but... Um, yeah, not having a lot of energy. And also, I'm uh, intangible next turn. Not having a lot of energy is not that fun. Yeah, let's do choke here. Okay. Then escape plan first. Dagger throw. And then slice. Okay. So I should be able to kill the, um, the sentry with just uh, the letter opener. Uh, I guess I need to actually use it. Uh, let's do blade dance, then play the shivs. Uh, see what the dagger throw gives me. Cloak and dagger might be better than us. Actually, I guess if I play cloak and dagger, I won't be able to play the... Hang on, 12, another... Actually, I think I can kill, right? 28? I need 38. Uh, 37. So if I do this, I have, wait, um, 16, 22, and then this will be 14. So that's 36. I need 37. I'm one off. I don't think I need to waste the potion for that. So yeah, fine. Let's get rid of it, and I'll do Cloak and Dagger. Um, shiv, Shiv. You gotta have extra energy to draw. Eh, I'm not sure if that would have changed my calculation significantly. Yeah, still got close. Okay. I'm only losing 2 HP, though. I think that's totally fine. Okay, Dagger Throw, Riddle with Holds, Dagger Spray. Riddle with Holds with the Shuriken, it's actually really good. I just don't have a lot of energy, and I, I probably should take my third Dagger Spray, try to get a Collector Bonus out of that. Okay. All right, Centurion Mystic. I don't think I have a way to deal more than 100 damage, right? So might as well do Choke, Backstab, um, Dagger Spray. Okay, I'll accept the 8 damage. I'm trying to think if I should get Incense Murder to Center Value, but... Against the champ, I don't think it matters too much. Maybe, maybe should try to get it to five, but I still have a fight after this, so it's not a big deal. Uh, let's do crippling cloud slice and blade dance. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So here, can I kill? If I do dagger spray, I should have done blade dance first, although I don't think it matters. Hmm. Slice, masterful stab, and actually, that's enough to kill. Good. All right, another dagger spray. Well, that gives me a collector bonus. Backflip might be better, though. Let's take the backflip. Ooh, piercing well is also really good. That could be my third piercing well, my third backflip, or first, or my fourth dagger spray. I am I just worry that I, backflip is great because of the block and the extra card draw. Hmm. All right, intangible here. Uh, let's do backstab slice. Two more slices, and I think I'll just do crippling cloud and sucker punch. Look at that. I'm actually still taking some damage. So yeah, let me try to get Incense Murder to 5. Maybe, maybe 3. Well, okay, let's let's get there first. Um, so let's do... Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to double footwork and then dodge and roll. That way I don't take any damage this turn. And we'll have lots of block for next turn. Okay. So let's do Blade Dance, Piercing Whale. Okay. Then uh, Dagger Throw... Noxious fumes, and I'll play the shifts here. Okay. There's a way for me to kill next turn. That might not be a bad idea. Uh, 27. Right, he's not weakened anymore. Let's do dagger throw. Choke. Um. Oh, right. If I do choke, I won't be able... Oh, I mean, it's fine. I'll take 9 damage. That's okay. All right. And then, I guess 4 is fine, too. Yeah, I shouldn't be too um, sad about that. All right. Okay, we got quick slash dodge and roll, riddle with holds. I have to take my third, third dodge and roll, right? Okay. All right. Next upgrade. I wonder if that should again be the backstab or the infinite blades. Maybe for block, I should still upgrade the piercing whales or the leg sweep. Let's do the leg sweep still. Okay. All right, champ. So I just have to... Okay, I got lucky this turn. So I have to leg sweep. I think I should definitely play that. Uh, let me do adrenaline first just to see what I draw. All right, let's do leg sweep. Slice. I'm seriously considering playing the two... Well, next turn I'll be intangible. So I don't think I need the dodge and rolls. Let's do backstab, dagger throw one. Great, I have three dodge and rolls. All right, let's do dagger throw two, two. Okay, fine. Slice is fine. All right, so... This turn I'll be intangible. Maybe I should have... Well, okay. Never mind. I'm not getting attacked. Okay, let's do footwork, infinite blades, dagger throw. That's one of the reasons I wanted to have it done for, though. There is a chance that he might attack me on this turn. Okay. 
Unfortunately, 14 incoming. Yeah, this is what I was worried about. There's nothing I can do, right? Well, unless the dagger throw gives me something good. Let's start, try that. Nope. Well, great. Let's get rid of the shivs. Yeah, just, I mean, even if I had dodge and roll played or had done something else, there's not much I could have done in this particular turn. Just got unlucky with the draw. Yeah. At least I can have a fun turn here. Yeah. All right, well, now that I'm not perfecting, let's try to make sure I don't accidentally die. Uh, let's do choke, cloak and dagger, shiv, shiv. Okay. Maybe I should have played the footworks. Maybe I should have prioritized um, making sure that I can uh, set up well. Uh, I think Crippling Cloud is probably good here. Again, again, look at that. I'm getting attacked and I have zero defensive capabilities. Let's do Crippling Cloud. Let's do Noxious Fumes and Strike. Come. Okay. I'm down to 14 HP, which is a little dangerous. Uh, wait, can I transform this turn? Because that way I'll be intangible in turn he attacks. Uh, I would need oof, actually quite a bit of damage, which I don't currently have. Let's see what this gives me. I might consider defending instead. Yeah, that might be better. So I might try to convert him when um, when the instant burner is at four again, which will take me four turns, which might be a while. But wait, there's no way I can deal. So much damage do I need to do? Uh, 47, so 52. And I need to get him down to 210, so 42 damage. Um, I have 12, 22, 33. With the energy potion, could get another two shivs, so it would be 18. So that's... Is that exactly 42? No, that's 41. I guess I have a fire potion too. I think it's worth it though, just because I have no other solution to when he does the big attack. So yeah, let, let me use the potions to do that. Um, let's do dagger throw. Then uh, slice, shiv, sucker punch. Oh wait, I missed. I think I'm... Well, no, no, no. I, I still need to play one of my potions and let me use the fire potion here. Okay, so that way I'm guaranteeing that he will transform. Which means next turn when I'm intangible, I won't take any... Well, I won't die, basically. Uh, let's do footwork, shiv, blade dance. Play these shivs. Yeah, having 7th um, strength by now, or 8th eighth, eighth strength is pretty useful. But I still need I still need the block here from the um, incense burner. Okay, let's do choke, dagger throw, shiv, slice, slice. Okay. And then I should be able to deal 23 damage here. Yep. Okay. Didn't perfect, but also survived with some um, strategy. Storm of Steel, Burst, or Phantasm Killer. I think I'll remove the Adrenaline. It's not... I mean, it's it's not bad, but it's not super useful. And I think I'll try to go for the Popper Modifier. Uh, I really would like some en energy, but I didn't get it. Do I want a Runic Pyramid? I'm trying to think if anything in my hand so some, something like massive stab will be a little bit of dead weight once i take damage but and i do have a few high cost cards with choke and not having extra energy choke and crippling cloud specifically not having extra energy might make it difficult especially if i already have a full hand and then i draw something like blade dance the upgraded one and just don't have no i don't think i i think if i picked up more discard synergies Runic Pyramid would have been great, but let's go with the Sacred Bark, double the effectiveness of potions. I have to admit I'm a little worried about going to Act 3 with only 3 energy, especially with this deck, but let's see what I can do. Alright, so Elite is in the middle, Shop is late, that's good though. Uh, allows me to remove the Adrenaline later. Okay, so let's do Escape Plan. Um, I don't think I need to, well, let's do Cloak and Aga that way, I don't need to defend much more than that. Noxious Fumes, Shiv... Uh, backstab and dagger spray. Come. Okay. All right, everybody's attacking me. Let's do adrenaline, masterful. Actually, let me do dagger throw first. Probably don't need footwork. Another dagger throw. Yeah, I might want to do dodge and roll actually. Uh, fine, let's get rid of slice. Uh, then do dagger spray after triggering the shuriken. Okay. And then slice masterful stab. That's not going to trigger the um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, gremlin knob, a uh, gremlin horn, right? But I was able to not take too much damage here. And then choke, slice, and dagger throw for a kill. Good. Okay, slice deadly poison blade dance. Already have nice slice. Let's go with the third blade dance. Mm, just have to worry about the explorer here, which I think I should be able to handle fairly easily. Uh, blade dance is great. Let's do that. 
And then shiv, shiv, shiv. And then this shiv kills you. And I can do something like Sucker Punch and Cloak and Dagger. And backstab Noxious Genius. Why not? Okay. Yeah, if I get a nice chain going, I'm doing pretty well at just getting there. That's difficult. All right. Deadly Poison Bane, Infinite Blades. Let's go with a second Infinite Blades, but I don't think I'll upgrade both of them. Um, well, this would give me a curse. I, I do like the gold, though. Let's take the gold, and then I can try to remove the curse later on. Yeah, sure, let's go for the gold. There's no way I can get the curse modifier, not with the amount of question mark rooms I have left. 21. Uh, let's do Lex. I kind of want to do Lex Sweep, but Piercing Will might... No, no, I, I should do Lex Sweep just to avoid taking more damage. And then backstab, slice, slice, dagger, throw, and that's it. Okay. Oh, I'm, look at that. I'm still taking two damage. Hmm. All right. So here, let's do double slice. Well, dagger throw first. I don't think I need this. Slice, then dagger spray. That's not, that's not going to be enough to kill. Is the, the blade dance might be better than dagger spray. Let's do that. It's not AoE damage, but at least it allows... Well, actually, I can kill this guy and then do Dagger Spray. Still taking some damage. Yeah, not happy about that. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's do Blade Dance, Dagger Throw. Alright, then Shiv. Probably could have played that a little better. Shiv, Shiv, and then Cloak and Dagger is unfortunately not enough to kill, but almost enough to be fully defended. Alright. And then here, see the turn where I actually need block, I'm not getting any, or not block, I mean offense, offensive cards, let's do dagger throw, get rid of the regret, that's nice, and then I can kill, good. Got a fear potion, accuracy piercing well, slice, um, I have how many pier piercing wells? Two, okay, I thought I had more, let's definitely take a third one. Oh, who's my final boss, by the way, a weak one, all right, so having multiple piercing wells might be nice. Okay, so let's do dagger throw. I don't want to do the Cloak and Dagger and Piercing Well for block, so let's get rid of at least one of these. Yeah, let's just do Piercing Well and Cloak and Dagger. Okay. Still taking damage that way. Ah, great. And I'm intangible in turn. I'm not getting attacked. Uh, Noxious Fumes, Dagger Throw, and then play the rest. Yeah, this fight actually might be rough. Yeah, because, for example, now I have 32 incoming. Even the Lux Sweep is not going to help fully. But let's do Dodge and Roll. That'll at least soften the blow. Mm -hmm. Another 13. Uh, let's do Escape Plan. Cloak and Dagger. Then, um... Yeah, fine. Let's do Crippling Cloud. Shiv, Blade Dance. And then play the rest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, still taking 10 damage. Do I have a rest side? I do have a rest side after this. I might consider resting here. I'm a little... I'm getting a little worried. Uh, let's do leg sweep. Uh, you know what? Let's do piercing well. That way I don't take any damage at all. Hmm. 13. I should also be getting close to being able to kill here. Yes, yes. Um, although... Fine, let's do dodge and roll. See, I'm still taking damage because the person applies after after I take damage. Got a fear potion, sneaky strike setup, dagger spray. Did I have enough dagger sprays? No, let's grab a, one for the collector bonus. And then just to be safe, let's let's rest here. I probably should upgrade. Chances are I'll be able to perfect things, but but yeah, I, I want to be careful. Okay, next round I'll be intangible, so I don't have to get rid of the minions. I do have to defend against them. Um, piercing whale alone is not going to be enough. Uh, footwork and leg sweep would be enough. Seems a little wasteful. Can I kill one of the minions? Yeah, actually, if I do... Let me do Massive Stab and Backstab. Okay, that way I'll gain energy back. And then let's do Leg Sweep. Um, Woodwork and Infinite Blade. Sure. Okay. okay, yeah. I am getting attacked here, which is... See, I was going to say, which would have been great if I had a single defensive card. I guess... Okay, my goal here is to kill a minion now. To see if I can draw something. Sucker Punch. Then Dagger Spray. Dagger Throw is not enough. Um, uh, okay, at least I got Backflip. Phew, that was close. Hmm. Okay, this guy's not attacking. Nice. Okay, so far everything is going well. Uh, let's do Footwork, Infinite Blades, Shiv. And I think I'll do Dodge and Roll. Just because I'm a little worried about not being able to defend next turn. 
Okay, 39. Uh, let's do Adrenaline. I do have Leg Sweep, which is a big help. Uh, I think I should do that Leg Sweep. All right. So that's 27. So now I'm fully defended. Uh, might as well do Noxious. Actually, no. Let me do Blade Dance after playing the Shivs. Then Blade Dance. Shiv, Shiv, Shiv. Then Dagger Spray. Okay. And then 14. Uh, let's do Choke. Then one Shiv. See what I get. Oh, I completely forgot I have to defend. Uh, so I might have to... Wait, can I kill here? If I play both Blade Dances, then I'll get um, a total of 8 Shivs. So that'll be 10 damage from the Choke. So that's 50. Plus um, 8 Shivs. So that's 56. I think that should be enough. That'll be yeah, 106, right? I think I calculated that correctly. Let's do that. Also, yeah, if I had a good potion, I might have... Uh, see, I had two vulnerability potions. I should have used them. That's fine. I was able to perfect. We got Molten Egg. Whenever we add an attack into deck, upgrade it. And Meal Ticket, whenever we enter a shop, heal 15 HP. You know what? I don't think I need two Fear Potions. Let's take a Fire Potion instead of one. And then Third Footwork or Second Sucker Punch. I'll go with the Third Footwork, even though the Awakened one is my final boss. So having too many powers might not be the best idea. Okay, I'll wait two more turns and then I'll attack the Spikers. For now, let's focus on the Exploder. Too bad I have that Dagger uh, Spray, which I don't really want to use. Let's do Dagger Throw. And then another Dagger Throw, hoping for a little bit of block. Um, backstab. Actually, I can do Slice and then Backstab. Mm -hmm. And then I guess I could do Piercing Whale. Uh, here, let's do Noxious Fumes and then Piercing Whale. How about that? Okay. Still take five damage, but I think that's fine. Seven incoming. Let me do Lex Sweep Blade Dance. And uh, I guess I can do two attacks, right? One, two. Okay. And then attack this guy. Hmm. All right. So here I'm intangible. And I would like to draw some defensive capabilities. Nope. Didn't get anything. So let's do Dagger Throw. And then I'll do... Oh, well, actually, I forgot I had the Dodge and Roll, right? So that means that the backlash should be dead from poison very soon. Let's attack this guy, I guess. Uh, all right, fine. Let's still kill him. I actually, I should have played the slice. That would have given me extra energy too. Mm -hmm. All right, so I can do... Um, well, I have... Well, let me see what this gives me. Okay, I can do Cloak and Dagger and then Choke. And um, yeah, I think that's it. The poison should kill the frontliner, and the backliner just need a little bit extra damage. Actually, no, the poison also kills the backliner. Good. Okay. All right, got a dex potion, which is tempting for the boss. Um, let me take it over the fire potion, actually. I'll try to burst. Let's go with... I didn't pass the shop yet, right? No, it's coming up. Uh, let's go. Uh, it's a power. Caltrops is a power, so I don't think I'll take it. It's also going to be very difficult to get to 50 cards, so I think I'll ignore these. I right, got Orcalcum. If you enter your turn without block, gain six block. That's not bad, although not super useful. Okay, I should be able. Let me first remove the first remove the adrenaline. Wait, do I have any other good rare cards? No. Yeah. So let's remove the adrenaline. If I had seen a wraith form, I would have taken it. But without it, I think popper is unnecessary. Do I want to bottle a power? So I think it would only be footwork or infinite blades or noxious fumes. I guess bottling a noxious fumes is not a bad idea, but I don't think I need to. Yeah, let's go with the other relics. So Sling of Courage, start each elite combo with two extra strengths. Actually, hang on. Before I take that, I could bottle the well laid plants. That might not be a bad idea. Oh, that's tempting. Let me see if I can get a collector bonus on any of the cards. So I already have enough dagger throws, right? I need one more dodge and roll. So let's get that. And then, uh, yeah, let me first buy... Wait, hang on. 5, 6, 50. Yeah, I can't afford all the relics plus the well laid plants. So I have to choose... Well, I plants is really powerful, though. I don't think I need the Mercury Hourglass. Yeah, and it's also very expensive. So let's go with the Sling of Courage. So I start each elite combat with uh, two extra strength. Then buy the Well-Aid Plants, buy the Bottle Tornado, pick up to the Power Card, so I just come with this card in your hand, and that make that the Well-Aid Plants, all right? And then with the remaining gold, I guess I can buy a Choke. And actually, no, no. If I had more energy, I would buy Choke. I don't think I need to. Uh, instead, let me get rid of the Fear Potion and buy a Power Potion. I think that's the right approach. Okay. And then I, I could also buy a Dagger Throw, but I think this is fine. And let me, since I have that Will I Plants in my opening hand, always oh, let's upgrade that. Come. 
All right. Okay, I got the jawworms here. Uh, nobody's attacking me. All right, uh, let's do well laid plants, backstab, blade dance, play the shivs, and then I'll do dagger throw. And uh, actually, I'm going to keep both of the legs weaves here. Hmm. Unfortunately, they're all are guaranteed to attack. Yep, and that's by quite a bit. Uh, can I kill the backliner? I think I should be able to. Let's do slice, dagger throw. Get rid of this, dagger spray. And then I think I'll do... I don't think I can kill another one. Let's do leg sweep here, and I'll unfortunately have to take some damage. Okay. Hmm. All right, 20. Uh, dagger spray is good. Uh, let's do blade dance, play the shivs. Dagger Spray is 18 damage. Almost enough to kill this guy. Uh, actually, let's do that, and then I'll do Masterful Stab. It gives me energy back. Slice, and uh, I guess backflip. Piercing Well is a little bit more blocked, so let's do that. Oh, actually, with the... Um, yeah, thanks to Overcalc, I'm almost fully defended here. Hmm. Oh, uh, do I want the Incense Burner at a certain value? If I don't get any regular fights, maybe I want the Incense uh, Burner at 4. So let me actually wait here. Uh, I will get rid of the regret. Oh, it might be difficult to wait in this particular fight just because let me keep block cards. Um, this guy scales up very quickly. Yeah, but I think it's worth it just just to try. Um, so let's do footwork leg sweep. Okay. Yeah, so chances are that one of the question mark rooms will be either a regular fight or an elite fight. But I do want to in case that is not the case. Um, let me make sure that I'm prepared. Eleven. I can fully defend with a uh, backflip, and then I'll keep these two for next turn. And then, actually, no, next turn I can just kill. Come. Okay. All right. Yeah, just better safe to be. A uh, bit to better to be safe. Another dodge roll, blade dance. I need one more blade dance, right? I already have enough dodge rolls. Ooh, that was a misclick. My heart rate just jumped. I don't know why. <laughs> Misclicking in a game should not really make my jump uh hard rate jump, but okay, blade dance, that's why I meant to click. Alright, um Rare Relic is fine. Operating all cards and no longer healing. Let me think about that. So unfortunately that'll put two of the infinite blades into my opening hand, which might not be great. It would upgrade a lot of other cards which might be useful, but I think I think the two infinite blades would make it a problem. On the other hand, OP need to have everything upgraded. No longer healing is, is possibly a problem, though. Let's go with the Rare Relic. Yeah, I think that's a safer choice. All right, I did get Hexaghost, which might be a problem if I don't draw any weakness. Uh, let's do Footwork, while well I Plans. I think I'll do Dodge Roll just in anticipation of the next turn. Okay. Hoping to get some... Uh, actually, never mind. I'm intangible next turn. Okay, so then let me try to get the Incense Burner and 4 again. All right. So let's do Noxious Fumes, Blade Dance 1... And blade dance two. Okay. Uh, and let me keep these two. All right. Okay. So masterful stab, dagger throw. Uh, let's just play the dagger sprays, right? So dagger spray one, dagger spray two. Okay. Hmm. Oh, now I'm worried I might. Well, trying to debate if I will kill too quickly or too slowly. Definitely would like to hit some middle balance there. Uh, let's do blade dance, play the shivs. Ooh, I'm worried I might it might take me too long. Because, um, yeah, basically I have two more turns. Uh, let me keep these two. Okay. Two more turns to deal about 100 damage. I guess I still need to draw the choke, right? That, that would definitely help. All right, uh, let's do slice, slice, blade dance. Okay. And then uh, let's do the infinite blades here, actually. Okay. I'll might as well keep both. All right. So can I kill this turn? Need a lot of damage, which I didn't get. Let's double shiv. See if I can get... Well, even if I get the choke, it's not going to be enough, right? Okay. I'm actually going to... Um, I don't need much to kill, so I'm going to use the energy pusher because I really want incense murder to be at four. Wait, did I have? I, 
Oh, right. No, I, I I was surprised why I got so much energy, but it's because Seeker Burke doubled it. Okay, good. That specimen, whenever an enemy dies, transfer any poison it has to a random enemy, as well as... That's not that useful. Sucker Punch or Slice. I have enough slices. I don't really... Well, the weakness is nice. Let's take a second Sucker Punch then. And, okay, so here... Yeah, see, if I knew I was going to get this event, I would have kept the rare card, because giving that up now would have given me 5 extra max HP, which would have given me another 25 points. But, unfortunately, there's no way to know that before um well actually i don't want the curse yeah let's uh let's give up the curse um i think that's fine i'll lose one point for my score but i think that's totally fine okay uh last upgrade probably the piercing well right yeah let's upgrade the piercing well Oh, actually, no, no, no. Now that I have the specimen, I should definitely upgrade the Crippling Cloud instead because all the poison will be applied to all enemies once they die. Oh, to all the other enemies. Okay. All right, so 20 incoming right off the bat. Let's do the Dex Potion. I really want to do the well Plants, but I will have trouble defending. Unless Escape Plan gives me something good. Let's give it a try. Yes, perfect. Okay, so I can do Dodge Roll and Piercing Well. That'll give me 21 Blanc together, and which means I can do well Plants. Let's do it. So then piercing whale, dodge and roll. Okay. And then I guess I'll do a slice and backstab. All right. Okay, so I am intangible. I'm fully defended. I don't think I'll do noxious fumes here. Uh, let's instead do... Let me see what the acrobatics gives me. Okay, that's not a bad hand. Let's get rid of this power. I'll do slice, blade dance, shiv, shiv, then dagger spray, shiv again, and that's it. Okay, I'm getting a little worried. Let's keep the uh, cloak and dagger, actually both cloak and daggers. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, that's a lot of incoming. So crippling cut would weaken all of them, but I will have trouble. I think I should try to kill one of them, which I think I should be able to if I do double dagger spray, right? Yeah, no, but then I have no way to defend. What do I do? If I do two cloak and daggers, that'll be 20 block, but I need 39. Well, I guess I can kill one of them, then... No, I need to kill more than one. What could I draw that would allow me to perfect? Well, I don't think I have really a choice here. Well, let's do the cloak, cloak and daggers first. Okay. Cloak and dagger one. Well, I guess I could have drawn a footwork. Then... Play the shivs. Okay. Then kill one of them with the dagger spray. Alright. And then... Um, still need a lot of damage. I can weaken the backline, but I need to kill this. I have to drink the, the power potion, right? There's no way around it. And really had to hope for a way, um, wraith form. But see, if I knew I was going to draw the after image, or I was going to get the after image, I would have done that at the beginning. Because after image is probably the only power I'd be willing to play, even knowing that I'm giving extra strength. But yeah, unfortunately, never mind, never mind, it's still enough. Yeah, I forget how much, yeah, see, I forget how useful Paper Crane is, really. Let's keep this and this for extra card draw, okay. So far, so good, but I did give him extra three, three strength already. 25. Open Cloud would weaken, that's not enough. Uh, can I kill this guy? Again, I have the same problem. Well, maybe if I play enough cards, let's do Dagger Throw 1. Blade Dance might give me enough block. But then I won't be able to... Well, hang on. Let's do Blade Dance because that way I can kill this guy. All right. And then I can do Crippling Cloud. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. All right. So far, so good. Um, let me keep these two. I definitely want to keep a Piercing Well for when he's ready to transform. Yeah, maybe this one. It's not an upgraded either. All right. Let's do Leg Sweep, Dagger Throw, and then um, Slice. Okay. All right, and then I have if I have a Lex Sweep and Piercing Well for the turn of transformation, that should be that should be sufficient. Um, let's do Dodge and Roll Blade Dance. I'm trying to think if I should play another power, but no, I think I'll wait. Uh, yeah, let's just be safe. Actually, I don't think I need the upgraded one. Let's use the unupgraded one. Hmm. Thirteen. Uh, yeah, if I do something like Choke, Slice, and Blade Dance, that's a lot of damage. All right. I think I might have a chance of perfecting this one, right? Tangible here, which is nice. Uh, let's do 
Slice uh, Blade Dance. Okay. Dagger Throw and then Dagger Spray. All right. Not that far off from being able to kill here. 13. Masterful Stab, Dagger Spray. I also have a good amount of block at this point. Uh, wait, I do need to defend here. Ooh. Do I need to play the Leg Sweep? I might have to. Wait, can I kill? I can kill it with the Dagger Spray. Let's do Piercing Well. Then Dagger Spray. Okay. And then I can even uh, do Infinite Blades. Good. Alright. Okay, let's see. So 40 incoming. Actually, it's, well, hang on. Leg Sweep and Dodge General should be enough block, right? Um, Yeah, let's do Leg Sweep. That's 24. And then actually, I don't even need the Dodge General. I could have played the Footwork instead. Uh, let's do Footwork, Shiv, and Slice. Okay, keep the Dodge Generals for later. Hmm, how am I doing on time, by the way? 52 minutes. Okay, that's not too bad. 10 incoming. Sucker Punch might be good. Actually, Dodge General is sufficient, too. Cloak and Naga might work. Let's do Dodge General and Cloak and Naga. Why not? Shift, shift, slice, and uh, Sucker Punch. Okay. Yeah, I'll keep the Dodge Roll, so that at this point I feel pretty good. Mm, 19 already. Yeah, let's do Footwork, Noxious Fumes. Okay. Yeah, at this point I think I'll just wait. Uh, let me keep it a Lex Sweep instead of a Dodge Roll in case I need to apply Emergency Weakness. Yeah, I, I definitely think the Paper Crane saved me in this, in this particular fight. Let's do... Uh, wait, do I need block here? Yeah, let's do infinite blades, cloak and dagger, and then shiv, shiv, blade dance. Yeah, and the sure can definitely help too, which is very nice. Hmm. Alright. Intangible here, which is great. Uh, let's do double shiv, dagger spray, dagger throw. Actually, I think I should be able to kill very quickly. Yeah. Just need, uh, what, 37 damage? No, less than that, 33. Oh, look at that. 13th strength. Okay, awesome. Perfect the last boss, which is good. Wasn't able to perfect the first two. 1049. That's not a... I mean, it's a fine score. It's not that great. I can definitely see somebody getting a higher score. I did perfect three out of the four elites. Just wait. Yeah, I guess I just missed the... I thought I missed the first... No, I missed the first one. Yeah, the Grumman knob. And I do think there might have been a way to perfect... Well, actually, maybe not a way to perfect that one. I think uh, one could have gotten luckier with the first elite. Yeah, I did perfect all the others. I didn't realize that. That's not bad. Okay, uh, but only, of course, one of the three uh, bosses. I got five collector bonuses, which means uh, this was better than going for Highlander. Highlander would have only given you 100 points. Five collector bonuses give you 125. Um, so I have Blade Dance, Dagger Spray, Dagger Throw, uh, Dodge and Roll, and slice. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm also very happy with the decision to bottle the uh, well-laid plants at the end. I think that that did definitely help quite a lot. Um, and then got Popper Librarian, and I got a negative one point from um, having the Spirit Poop Relic, which is fine. So 1050 would have been possible if I had not removed the um, Adrenaline, uh, but rather just removed in the event. Uh, I would have very easily been able to get the stuff modifier, which would have put me in um, 10, uh, I guess, 75. But again, 1045, I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with this. Um, okay, again, this is very early, but I am 11th right now. Um, so look at that. I am about 25 points more than Flicknickum, so that just could be a collector bonus. But then Vorpal was able to get, um, yeah, exactly 100 points more, and Hobo got 125, approximately 125 points more than that. Um, so obviously the fact that uh, the number of points difference is not, um, I was going to say the difference would be a multiple of 25, right? But I am one point away. So I'm assuming they actually, none of them went for Spirit Poop and they were able to actually sacrifice another, possibly a rare card. Uh, but yeah, I suspect that both Hobo and Vorpal were able to perfect at least one more both, if not two. Um, but yeah, I don't think I don't think I stood a chance against the Act One boss, and against the Act Two boss, I just got well. Actually, I also didn't really stand a chance. Um, I could imagine somebody getting lucky, but it, it wasn't me. Um, anyway, yeah, let me know in the comments uh, if you played differently, and then yeah, tomorrow I'll read all the other names who played after I played, because as I said, I played very early today. Uh, but also let me know if you prefer the early uploads or if you are uh, okay with the uploads being slightly later. I know a lot of people either watched uh, watch these videos when going to sleep or when waking up. So so. Let me know what, what is best for you. I will try to, well, I, I don't think I can promise anything, but, you know, I, I will try to do it uh, with what people want uh, in terms of when to upload. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.